What's up, Nail Crew? I have a super long but fun video for you guys today. We are going to do a three-week update on my last set. Then we're going to play with some new poly gel. And I have a new technique to show you guys. Let's get started. This is the 21-day, three-week mark. You can see the nails all still are intact. And they still look good, right? And the bling is still all intact. I lost zero stones. I lost no stones. And the nails are still on. No chipping, no lifting, no cracking, none of that crap. None of that garbage, right? So the nails held up pretty darn well for three weeks. And I work with my hands, guys, okay? I'm in the gym all the time. So I feel like if a product can work well on me, then nine out of 10, you guys will have no problem with it, okay? I have so many different poly gels that I want to try out for you guys. I'm going to soak these off. I'm going to soak these off just so I could demo some new poly gel for you guys, okay? So let me show you guys the ones that I'm thinking of demoing, okay? So you know, I keep all my little poly gels in a bucket. So I have this brand. And in this brand, I have three different colors, okay? So what is this? What color is this? It doesn't even say the color on the pack. Come on. What? I think one's a pink, one's a white, one's a clear. Come on. What in the heck? When I ordered them, I remember it being one pink, one white, one clear. I don't know why it doesn't say it on the bottle, but there's different numbers here. If you can see that, like, they're different numbers. Come on, guys. Like, what were you thinking? Uh, anyway, okay. So that's one brand that I might demo for you guys. And the other one is... Where are you? The other one is A-Nail. And in A-Nail... Let me move these out the way. I don't have that much room on my table. A-Nail, I have several different colors as well. Okay, so that's all I have for A now, and this does have names on them. <laughs> it's a clear, it's a pink, white, and nude pink, okay? So I don't know if I'm going to go with this brand or that brand, right? And then I wanted to also try out the Model 1s because I did use this brand on my niece, and the set lasts for a very, very long time. They were super durable. Remember guys, that video, she played football and she did like everything and those nails did not even break. Like, come on, right? So that was awesome. So, I mean, the only downside to this particular brand is that it's very, very thick. I think it has more acrylic in it than gel, which is not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing at all. It's just you're going to have to put a little bit more work into the application process, okay? So in this one, I have light pink. I have bright white, clear, and natural pink. So those are the three brands that I have. I don't know which one I'm going to use. N none of these I've used on myself at all. And these two... I, I haven't tried on anyone else. So this one I've tried on my niece, but not myself. And these I've never tried at all. So I don't even know if I'm going to like them, love them, hate them. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to soak these off for you guys just so that I can demo another brand of poly gel for you, okay? All right, guys. So all my nails are gone. I soaked them off filed them down, did all that fun stuff off camera. Now, I'm back to square one because I don't know which poly gel I wanna try. So, first of all, let's just start by figuring out what colors I have in A now. In, um, what is this, in Elite 99. Let's figure out what colors. So that is clear, I think. Ooh, yeah, it seems pretty, pretty thick, like I'm squeezing it out the tube and it's not like gushing out, so. That's a good sign. All right, so that is color 002, which is clear. I think I'm going to write clear on it. So future reference, I'll know. And this color is 
003 and it is like a pink like a soft milky pink I think either it's a milky pink or like a almost white I don't know can't really tell what color that is I think it might be pink though and then 005 is I'm assuming white no clear what so zero two and zero five is clear what I don't even know let me look at this one again that's weird that's weird I don't know all right so that is elite 99 versus the a nail I would probably if I was to use a nail I would probably go with nude let's see oh I got a little of that elite 99 on my fingers and it is so sticky so let's see what this one 007 nude pink so let's see what color this is oh that's pretty this one is like a bubblegum pink it's not as hard to squeeze out the tube I don't know guys I don't know that is pretty ah, I might I might end up going a nail guys all right so that is that is the nude pink but they also have a pink pink this one is pink so let's see what the pink looks like oh that oh, oh that is like a bright pink all right so now now i'm confused now i don't know what to do give me a minute i gotta think about it i gotta think about it guys i don't even know what i'm gonna do ah this was so hard now and I just made my life harder um I'm, I'm not gonna use elite 90 I really wanted to try elite 99 today because it's soak off and I don't know I just thought it would be pretty cool but I don't even know what colors I have it, they both look clear I don't know so I'm just not a you're you lost for the day I will try it for you guys at some point just not today on this set okay so now I am at a toss up between pink and nude pink. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do clear because I did clear before. I'm not going to use white because uh, I don't even I just I don't even know why I bought white. Um, nom, 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 nom. I'll do nude. Let's do that one. That is the winner for today. So before I even get started, I'm going to take my handy dandy little toothpaste key and I'm just going to put that to the back of here all right so it fits on just like that it slides right in boom look at that okay so I have that ready and then I have my dual forms all ready to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my brush then I need my little piece of my little makeup sponge to dab my brush on what else do I need guys I need my base gel and that is pretty much it I think I'm ready to go all right guys so I have my dual forms here already fit and sized and ready to go and today I'm gonna do something a little different I have a sharpie and you're like what the hell are you gonna do with that well I just want to try something a little different I want to do more of a coffin type shape now today now you can just go ahead and use the dual forms the way you normally do and then file them into whatever shape you want at the end however I'm gonna see if I can get a coffin shape in the dual form so I don't know I don't know I don't know how this is gonna turn out so we're just gonna give it a give it a whirl so what I'm gonna do is put the dual form on my nail and the first thing that I'm gonna do is use my sharpie to mark off 
my nail bed like where my nail bed ends okay so, and it doesn't have to be perfect obviously then the next thing you do is use the same marker and find how long you want your nail to be and I'm gonna go for about here I think that's a good length. Now I'm gonna draw the shape that I want. So I can take that off, cause I have the shape that, I have my nail bed and I know how long I want the nails. So now I'm gonna draw the shape of the coffin nail that I want. And I'm just gonna connect the two edges like that. Boom, boom. And it does not have to be perfect, it's just a guide. So I think that is how I want my nail. I think that's the shape that I'm gonna go for today. And if it's not perfect, you could always file it later. So we're just gonna see how that, that works. So now when you turn it over, you kind of have a guide of to where you wanna put the poly gel. You see that? So I don't know, let's give it a go. Let's, let's try, let's see how it's gonna work. All right, so I have my first nail drawn out and kind of prepped and ready to go so i'm kind of excited i think it's gonna work it seems easy enough all right so like i said before my nails are already prepped and primed so what i'm gonna do now is base them i'm gonna go in with my cody rubber base gel and my mccart gel brush I'm just gonna base my nails with this base gel and then get started on the poly gel application so this, this rubber base gel works very well. The only downside, like I said before, is that it does not have a brush inside. You know, let me get a table. Hold on guys, let me get something to, let me get something to put my nails on. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of this base gel to all my nails. All right, so once the thumb is done, I like to flash cure the thumb before I move on to the other nails because you have to put the thumb down in order to put the other nails up. And then I don't want that to drip and flood my cuticle. So I'm gonna flash cure that for 10 seconds. All right, so that nail is done. And now I can do all four of these and not have to worry about my cuticles being flooded. All right, so the gel is applied to all the fingers and I'm going to cure them for a full 60 seconds. All right, so all my nails have a coat of rubber base gel on them. And now we're ready to go. We're ready for the poly gel. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm nervous because I'm trying a new technique with these dual forms or because I'm trying a new poly gel or what, man, but I'm kind of nervous. Like, what if it doesn't work? I don't know. So here we go, I am going to look, I don't even know what to start with. I'm like all over the place. <laughs> I have the poly gel and I have my little dual form and I'm just gonna apply a little of this to the middle. Okay, so I have that right there in the middle. <sighs> here we go, here's the hard part, trying to shape it out. I got my alcohol right there and I have my makeup sponge right there. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, so it's, it, it actually looks like a bubble, bubble gum color and it actually spreads like bubble gum as well. Like it's very, 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 very soft. I didn't expect it to be this soft but it's not sticking to the brush and it's not 
give me like a white cast kind of thing. And so it's doing what I want it to do in terms of following my pattern that I drew. The good thing about this poly gel, y'all, we could play all day. So I'm just trying to get it perfectly in the shape that I drew. Look, that looks pretty good. That's what it looks like from the flip side. I don't know, guys, that looks good. Yeah, that looks really good. I hardly put any alcohol on this brush either. So this poly gel is very soft. You don't need much of anything. Let's get the corners, get the corners. Oh, that was quick. That was kind of almost too easy. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna put it on my thumb. Let's see, let's see what happens. And you gotta be careful. Don't press it down so hard that you squish out the poly gel around the edges or you mess up the shape that you just did, okay? I'm just placing that down on my nail, not applying too much pressure. Look, nothing even came out along the edges, nothing, okay? So now I'm gonna turn my hand over, grab a dab of alcohol, not too much, because this stuff is soft. And I'm just going to clean up the shape a little bit. You guys know I love a smooth underside. So a tip with this poly gel, it's so soft that you almost got to use a little bit. You don't want to use too much because like it is just very soft. It's softer than any of the other ones that I've used. And so I'm just going through the underside but looking at the top and just making sure that it stays in the little shape or template that I made. I think that looks pretty good. Clean up the side there. Okay, so it, it looks good. Underside nice and soft and smooth. I don't know guys, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. All right, I'm gonna cure this. I'm gonna cure it, wish me luck. All right, so I went ahead and cured that for a full 60 seconds. I didn't even bother flash curing it and then moving on to the other nails because I just really wanna test it and see if it worked. So let me put this up really quick and I'm gonna pop this off. Oh, look at that guys. I mean, there's a little like stuff around the edges, but it's it it's it's on and it's <laughs> it's a nice tapered shape. It looks good. It feels sturdy. It's cured all the way through. Nice and soft on the underside. Nice. It worked and this color is beautiful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing to all my other nails. And then yeah, that looks amazing, guys. And that was easy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to take my little dual forms and my Sharpie and make marks on all the other nails and do the same exact thing now that I know it works. And yeah, let's just let's just dive right in. Now I'm all excited and stuff. Oh my goodness, that was so easy. All right, so we're going to put it, is this the right number? No, that is not even the right number. I need a seven. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put it on my nail kind of hold it down like that kind of hard to do but so we're going to mark where our nail bed is right then we're going to mark where we want the nail to stop which is right there then you could take that off see and now just connect the two make the little the little shape just like we're in geometry class boom so now you have your nail bed and you have 
the extension. And we're gonna do that to all the nails and then fill them up with poly gel. So let's just move right along. This is number six. Number six is my middle. How am I gonna hold that down? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll be right back. This is why I need clips. Hold on, guys. Ta-da! <laughs> because I'm not an octopus and I don't have enough hands to hold that down. I'm going to use a clip. So what you're going to do is put... Oh my goodness, dropping everything. You're going to put the nail on. Make sure that it fits, right? Yes. And then you're going to use the clip to hold it in place. So I'm going to put that on. Use the clip. to kind of hold it in place for you, but not too high up because you need space to draw. All right, so now I got the clip holding it on for me. That's gonna make my life so much easier. And we're just gonna draw where my nail bed ends, which is about right there. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but there we go. And then I'm gonna draw where I want my nail to end, which is right about there. And then you can take that off and now you can make them connect. Boom. Boom. Okay. And we're just gonna keep on going with the other ones. And you know what, let me show you guys a new way. Say you don't have a clip, here's what you can do. You can put the nail on, right? And you don't have a clip so you can't hold it in place. You can kind of look, there's little marks on here. So I know my nail bed ends at, you see that? There's an S. Do you see that? So I know my nail bed ends at the S. So I can take this off. And now I can just go ahead and draw my line where the S is. Okay, so if you don't have clips, don't worry about it. I still got you. You can do that, right? And then I know that I want my nail to extend out to the N. There's letters on here. It says YS nail. And so I know I want my nails to extend out to the end because that's where all the other ones are. So I'm just going to draw my line at the end. You see that? And then, just like the other ones, we're going to let them connect. Boom. Just like that. So don't even worry about getting a clip if you don't have one already. All right. Now we are going to apply the poly gel into each of the dual forms. And you know what? Now that I know this stuff is super, super soft... I'm just gonna go in with a smaller amount. I think I put way too much for my thumb. All right, so. All right, so I have a little poly gel in here. And I'll speed up the video when I get to the other nails, but I just wanna show you guys. This is very soft. If you want, if you're looking for a very, very soft poly gel, this is it, man. I tell you what. If you want something a little stiffer and more acrylic in it, this is not the poly gel for you. Let me just tell you that now. All right, so it looks good. And now let's flip it over, make sure that it is in the shape that we drew. And it is. Let's go ahead and make sure that I have enough there. All right, so now I'm gonna put it on my nail. Very lightly, because I don't wanna press so hard that it squeezes out the edges. Create a nice seal, sidewall to sidewall, and at the cuticle. Turn your nail over, and we're just going to make sure that it's smooth. Now this one stayed smooth on the other side. The thumb, I had a little bit of work to do. This one I did not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my shape. Brush is a tad sticky, dip it in alcohol. And we're just smoothing that out. Get a nice flat top. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I 
think that looks pretty darn good. All right, so now I'm going to set that in place by flash curing it for 10 seconds. All right, so that now has been flash cured for 10 seconds. So now I'm just going to move on to the rest. You have your dual form. We're going to put some right in there. went ahead and did this set off of camera and it went by just as easily and quickly as it did for that hand so the color is gorgeous the shape is almost to where I want it to be it's gonna be a lot easier to get it into that coffin shape now that I drew it out and kind of did it that way versus having them to be square and starting from scratch so let's pop these stool forms off coming off so easy I like when they just pop off like that okay well the, now this pinky oh my god it was so hard to do the pinky with my non-dominant hand because the nail was so small so I couldn't really get it into the shape that I wanted it to be in but it's all good I'm going to shape them and everything now so this is what I do with my dual forms after I use them and I just let them sit in alcohol until I file my nails and then wipe them out First thing you want to do is grab your cuticle pusher and push back the cuticles because 9 out of 10, you got a little bit of poly gel 
on your cuticles or sidewalls. And we just wanna go ahead and remove that. And now when I'm working with my non-dominant hand, oh my God, it is just, it's not pretty guys, it's not pretty. So I'm just gonna push back my cuticles and make sure I remove any poly gel off my cuticles and sidewalls. So that is what I'm doing. Okay, then we're gonna grab our hand file and we're gonna just shape the nail. Let me fix. so I'm gonna go from sidewall to sidewall. And you just wanna do an even amount of files or strokes on one side as you do the other. That way your nails are not lopsided. Okay, then we're going to get on the top and file it so that it's flat. And this stuff is pretty easy to file. I'm not having any issues filing it the way that I want it to be. All right, so let's measure it up with the other thumb. Well, this thumb is a little bit more thicker than that one. You see how wide this one is compared to that? So let's just shape it up a little more. And then shape up the other side. All right, so that looks a lot better, right? And so now what we're gonna do is score or file the top and get it ready for our second layer. So I'm gonna use the same hand file and I'm just going to rough up the surface. And it's smooth, so it's not that I'm filing for smoothness. It is completely, completely smooth. So if you really didn't want to do this, if you didn't have time to do a second layer on top of your nail, don't even bother. Just, just head out the door. You don't even need to put a top coat on it or anything. All right, so that's it. So the shape is the way I want it. And the top layer is nice and filed. And I don't have any on my cuticles or sidewalls. So that's all. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing for the rest of the nails, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my IBD hard gel. This is what it looks like. It's in the color clear. And I'm just gonna apply, Ooh, wow, look at all that. I'm just going to apply a second layer to my nails, okay? And I say this in every video, if you like your nails thin, look how thin those are, oh my goodness. If you like your nails thin, then you're welcome to stop right here. But guys, my nails will break like one day out in the public and that's it for me. So I'm gonna go in with a glob of this gel and the same exact technique that I've been using lately is to just apply that glob right there at the apex and at the apex and brush it down. You don't want it too thick at the tip. You want it nice and thick, however, right at the apex because if the nail is gonna break, it's gonna break right at the apex of the nail. So, putting a glob of it at the apex and then smoothing the rest of it down. It should be nice and smooth. So when you're done with this, you shouldn't have to do too much finish filing. So that's what it looks like, and I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. All right, and now we are gonna go in with a nice big glob. Well, I shouldn't say big glob, medium glob. And we're gonna apply that to the base of the nail, closer to the cuticle. You see that? And now we're gonna brush it over the entire nail. So this is going to apply thickness to the entire nail. And you just brush it on.
nice, smooth, and shiny. So let's cure that one for 30 seconds. All right, so that's that. I am now going to do the same thing to the other nails. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up because I did a really good demo of this in a previous video. So I don't have to do it again here. It's gonna be the exact same technique. All right, so I'm gonna speed it up. All right guys, so I went ahead and did all my fingernails with the hard gel. Cured everything for 60 seconds at the end. Now I'm just wiping off that sticky inhibition layer. And so far, oh my gosh guys. Going in with my cuticle oil, cause my nails and my hands, oh they look so ashy y'all. All right, let's rub that in. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. What do you guys think? What do y'all think? I love them. I love the shape. I love the color. I love the length. It is so freaking pretty. It is very pretty. You guys have to try it. Let me show you the bottle again. In case you guys want to purchase it, let me just show you again what I use. It is A now, so it's A now, and it is um, color 007 Nude Pink, okay? That's the one that I used, and it is gorgeous, absolutely freaking gorgeous. I love them. I love them. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this A Nail Poly Gel. Would you try it out? Have you tried it out? What do you think about it? Let me know. Also, let me know what you think about the way I did the dual forms with the Sharpie to get this nice little coffin shape. Let me know if you're gonna try it out. Let me know what you think. I love this set, guys. It is so pretty. It is so freaking gorgeous. Leave me your comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. And look out for my next video. See you guys later.